So as you can tell, this house is a mess, the yard is a mess, and just the overall concept here is a mess. So today, we're gonna get rid of one of those messes. So if any of you are new here, I'm 3D. I purchased this property a few months ago. Uh, we haven't done really anything with it yet because we're waiting on permits. This is a whole new experience. This actually wasn't even supposed to happen. I was supposed to come here and fix this house a little bit, but after I got here and actually looked at it, because I was up in New York, this, this property's in Florida, we've decided to tear the thing down. So right now, because we're waiting on permits, I'm going to try to do, try to stay busy, get the other portions of the par, while the architects and everybody else is hard at work as well. The next door neighbors have a very nice yard. It's nice and green, and over on my side, it's brown. And don't pay attention to the lawn chairs and the dryer and the stuff. I mean, it's just one mess after another. You're gonna have to put up with it at this point. I understand that we're building a dream house and at this point it's like, what's your definition of dream? I understand, it's a mess, but we're working on it. So the yard is covered in leaves and sticks. And a lot of sand. See, I'm not used to sand. In New York, we got really rich soil. Sand is something new to me. So instead of loading my trailer up with this, these leaves, this trailer with leaves, we've already loaded this trailer with an entire load of leaves. I would say the leaves went up to about here and then we tarped it over. So you're talking a lot. You're talking 16 feet by, I want to say this is seven feet uh, at three foot tall. So if you want to do the yardage on that, a lot of leaves. So given the fact that we've already taken a load of leaves and it, the yard doesn't even look like it, I would assume that it would take three or so more trailer loads. So instead of doing that, I've done some research and I think I want to, well, this is what we're going to do. We're going to put these leaves into sections. We're going to make soil out of it. So that way we can have nice, beautiful grass instead of a, a brown yard. had uh, sand in my shoe. So I managed to get two rows here. One's a little nicer than the other. This row is pretty good. This row, however, doesn't look like a row because there's actually a lot of grass in here, so there's no point in putting it into a nice skinny row because I gotta mow it anyways. But basically what I wanna do here is I wanna have two rows, get all the leaves consolidated. That way I can mow just two skinny paths. Well, the paths themselves instead of the entire yard. Before I mow these paths and chop them up into little tiny pieces, I'm gonna wet them down. So that way dust doesn't fly everywhere and that way the water should help break the leaves down. I'm not a farmer, but a little bit of research, that's what I've come up with. We're gonna have to do quite a bit of piles. This is our first pile slash row. Before I can, like I said, take the mower on it, I wanna A, take all the big sticks out of it that'll potentially screw up my mower. I wanna bend the crankshaft or break a blade or bend a blade. So I'll get all the stuff kind of like this out of here. And then we'll go on to our next step. I broke my garage going up. Looks like we need to replace a few boards.
Definitely don't want to hit this guy. We'll water down our leaves, get them nice and saturated, and when we go to mow, we won't have a dusty mess. Wrong button. It's only rained like three times in the last So I swapped the, the source of water. There's one, three different hose hookups on the property and we'll have enough hose to go around the entire property, so that's good. Hose hookup number two. Boom, boom, got it. I'm fixing the lawnmower today too. I think it's just a small fix. I think all I have to do is dry out this air filter. Maybe when I let my buddy borrow it, he tipped it on its side and it got gas in it. I don't know what button I pushed, but you can hear the lawnmower going. The drone's up in a freaking tree. Where the, where is it? I don't know what button I pushed, but it just went crazy. I don't have a single idea how I'm gonna get that down. I don't have a ladder nearly that tall. I don't think anybody has a ladder that tall. That thing is up there. I gotta somehow clip the moss without hitting the drone. And I only played baseball when I was up to like seventh grade. It's been a long time. But there's no other choice. I guess I'll grab these two and they'll be my throwing stars. Another. Well, cold, cold just got here, and now we have a drone and our projectile up in the moss. While I was trying to get my drone down, I also managed to make a mess in the yard. Branches are everywhere. Add it to the list of messes. So day three, trying to get the drone out of the tree. So far, so far unsuccessful. Yeah, but now we got the technique. Now we know how to throw this thing up there. And it's only gonna take like two more throws. I can feel it. Got the good vibrations. What we need is a bow and arrow. Or that. Isn't the next door neighbors have a crossbow? They do. There we go. Oh! oh. Well, yeah, man, it's it's cherry red. There you go. Check. 
Nice. Ah, uh, one thing after another. Come on now. Originally, I was going to put the leaves in different rows, but as you can see, it just doesn't work like that. You have circles, you got squares, and you just have piles. So what I've decided is now I have room to put down a tarp, and then that way the leaves don't get, you know, the leaves go on the tarp, and it keeps a clean area. Check out, check out the back here. So with all the dilemmas, we've only gotten one row done, but as you can see, just a couple passes, and this stuff is, you know, almost dirt already, really. So I'm hoping, you know, after two weeks or so, that this is like mulch. But this whole row is done, and I really like the results of that. And originally it was, it was pretty tall, and it's flattened itself out. The sun's getting ready to set. We've had enough issues today where we're calling it quits as well. Tomorrow, we'll finish this sucker up. And just like that, it's the very next day. Let's do this thing. So there are a lot less leaves in the backyard right now. I took them all from the mid yard to the far backyard to add them to our existing leaf piles. And then these ones, since they're not in our driveway, I'm going to have rows right down here to the back. And then this side, I'm not even going to bother with right now because when this house comes down, chances are that there's going to be a big burn pit right there. We're not going to burn shingles or anything like that. We're going to only burn the wood. But there's still going to be a big area, a big burn pit. So, let's do what we did back there on all these. Made it to the backyard again, but for my last two passes, I'm actually gonna drill a hole in this. But it'll keep this shoot open. That way, because there's a lot of leaves back here, that way it'll shoot into the two piles.
All right, so I have all my piles done. I do want to start a fire. I have a cold one here. And I have a bunch of pop here. I don't drink either very often. So here's, we got uh, Mountain Explosion. I'll, I'll have a sip of this. We'll try it out. See how it compares to the old Dew. That tastes right on with Mountain Dew. And I'm gonna be addicted. That's really good. So I got a soaker hose here. And this is gonna water the rose for us so I don't have to all the time. Save time there. So there's our soaker hose. Never used one, but I assume that it shoots water everywhere. I'm not sure if it squirts it or if it soaks it. And then I bought this too, but instead of using do I want to use the minerals right off the bat? For now, I'm just going to pour this into here. And it's rock hard. I like the color. What we're going to do is take our... Saw this on YouTube video. So the sugar in the pop feeds the yeast in the, yeah, I don't really like this. Fill her up. And supposedly that's supposed to do something. And yeah. Then we're gonna soak all our piles in this first and then hook just the water up to it. Mount Explosion! And just like that, all our piles are soaked. Now, I know you guys are gonna ask me, Dalton, what the was all of this? And to tell you the truth, I don't know exactly. I was just intrigued that we have a lot of trees, and I love the trees because they give us shade, but this yard might not grow grass because of all the shade. I mean, it's Florida, so I figured it would be, you know, the sun would eventually hit all the, all the yard and make grass for us but there is no grass, so either they didn't plant any. I don't know, I'm not a Florida person, I'm from New York. I, I always like to take the liabilities and make them into assets. So if we can take the leaves, liability, turn them into an asset, rich soil, that holds moisture, we might have the nicest friggin' yard in the, you know, on the block. By piling them up like this, this is going to keep the moisture in. It's kind of like hay, up in New York, we put hay on like grass seed, when we go to you know grow a new lawn or whatever so these are kind of the same thing now if i just were to mulch them what i what, what i was thinking was there's not enough leaves to keep everything saturated so if i just do them in sections hopefully you know it'll it'll be more dense and it'll hold the moisture better and hopefully grow grass within them the plan is to in in 14 days see what the heck happens with what I've done. Right now, let's see. You can see the mower did a pretty good job. I mean, but you can also see that soaking them for even a couple minutes only gets the top. But that soaker, that soaker hose will definitely save me some time from just standing there. Here's pile number two. So I hope you guys stay tuned to see what happens with this experiment. This pile is going to be burned. There's a bunch of wood debris and stuff and like that. So I'm just gonna burn that one. Here's pile number three. I also gotta burn this tonight. And then I'll show you the rest of the piles. We ended up cleaning up the yard pretty good. Considering, you know, I, I only wanted to clean the sections that were not going to really screw up or have materials sitting at. Like all this, I don't think anything will ever, you know, sit here. There's another pile. You can see, definitely, there's a difference in in the overall look of the yard. And this is a burn pit. This will probably be a burn pit again, but I think we're gonna have a burn pit over there as well. So that one will stay clean, and that the future one will just go over here. And here's our last pile. So 14 days from now, stay tuned. We'll see what this experiment does. Uh, stay froggy fresh, stay super fly. Thanks for joining the adventure. Until next time, 
3D Machines out.